Coventry City, a football club on the brink of destruction. Homeless, relegated, turmoil. A football club that's had its highs and its lows. Today we discuss the journey of Coventry City, the players that fought back, and the fans that lived every moment. This is Coventry City. A football club on the rise. Coventry City aren't just your typical football league side. Despite all clubs having their own histories and stories, Coventry City's journey has been one hell of a roller coaster ride. Founded in 1883, it wasn't until the second half of the 20th century that Coventry City started to climb up the football divisions, and from 1967 until the turn of the century, remained in the top flight, even winning the FA Cup in 1987. However, in 2001, Coventry City's 34 year stay in the top flight came to an end. Coventry were expected to bounce back to the Premiership within a few years, but as the years ticked by and good players came and went, Coventry seemed to sink further down the table, until they were relegated to League One in 2012. In the 11 years Coventry spent in the Championship, the club didn't even finish in the playoffs once. During this time, Coventry City moved away from Highfield Road to the new 32,000 seater stadium, the Rico Arena. This is a stadium Coventry didn't own and would leave the club's future and existence hanging in the balance over the coming years. The 2012-13 season had its ups and downs, but the club was hit with a 10-point deduction and slumped to a 15th place finish. Going into the 2013-14 season, Coventry were involved in an ongoing rent dispute with the Rico owners, Arena Coventry Limited. This resulted in Coventry ground sharing with Northampton Town at Sixfield Stadium. On top of this, the club was hit with another points deduction and a transfer embargo. But despite all odds, Stephen Presley guided the Sky Blues to an 18th place finish, even flirting with the playoffs around December time. In 2014, Coventry City returned to the Rico Arena. A deal was struck between the arena owners and the club owners. Coventry went on to beat Gillingham 1-0 on the night of the club's homecoming in front of a crowd of 27,000. Coventry City ended the 14-15 season in 17th place. This underwhelming season saw Stephen Presley replaced with Tony Mowbray. In the 2015-16 season, Tony Mowbray guided the Sky Blues to first place by December 2015, with loan signings Adam Armstrong, Jacob Murphy, Ryan Kent and Joe Cole really excelling. However, a horrific run in the second half of the season saw the Sky Blues finish in 8th. The summer of 2016 saw John Fleck, James Madison, Reader Johnson, Jim O'Brien and all of the talented lone players depart. This left the Sky Blues with a young and fragile squad going into the 2016-17 season. Inevitably, the team failed to win any of their opening 10 games of that season. Mowbray left, crowds dwindled and protests started. Neither Mark Venus or Russell Slade could stop the rot and by early 2017 the writing was on the wall. In March 2017, the club appointed Mark Robbins as Coventry City Manager. This was to be Mark Robbins' second time as Coventry City Manager, and despite the club winning four of their final eight league games, it wasn't enough. The Sky Blues finished 23rd and were to play in the fourth tier for the first time since the 1950s. However, amongst all the terrible league results, Coventry had actually progressed all the way to the final of the Checker Trade Trophy. And against all odds, Mark Robbins led Coventry City to victory in front of a crowd of 75,000 at Wembley Stadium. Would this small taste of success be a sign of things to come? The 2017-18 season was far from plain sailing for the Sky Blues, but Mark Robbins, with the help of Mark McNulty's goals, led Coventry City to their first top six finish in any league since 1970. The club had finished sixth in its first season in League Two, and Coventry would lock horns with Notts County in the playoff semi-finals. A 1-1 draw at the Rico Arena left it all to play for at the second leg at Meadow Lane. However, no one expected what was to happen in the second leg. Coventry City won 4-1 in what some fans would say was the club's greatest performance in modern history. With confidence flowing, Coventry then went on to beat Exeter City 3-1 in the playoff final to achieve the club's first promotion in 51 years. The 2018-19 season saw Coventry City more than consolidate in League One. The club was mid-table through the midway point of the season, but a late charge saw Coventry City just fall short of the playoffs in 8 place despite away draws at Luton, Barnsley and a 5-4 win at Sunderland. Going into the 2019-20 season, Coventry were having off-the-field issues again, with now the new Rico owners, Wasps Rugby Club. This resulted in Coventry City ground-sharing again, but this time it would be at Birmingham City's St Andrews Stadium. 
Despite these issues, Mark Robbins wouldn't be phased. Instead, he continued to build his squad with signings like Callum O'Hare, Matty Godden and Kyle McVadzine. Coventry went unbeaten for the first 10 games of this season. The Sky Blues turned St Andrews into a fortress, only losing the one game at home all season. Back-to-back 4-1 away wins at Wickham and Tranmere strongly boosted the club's promotion credentials over the new year. Coventry City was sat in first place, seven points clear of third, when coronavirus brought everything to a halt in March. After a few months of uncertainty, the Sky Blues would be promoted via points per game, and the club had achieved its second promotion in three years. Cue the celebrations. Going into the 2021 season, the Sky Blues would be put to the test. Coventry had been outside the Championship for eight years and Mark Robbins had very little experience as a manager at this level. The signings of Gustavo Hamer and Leo Ostergaard would prove crucial. Coventry City started the season slowly, only winning two of their opening ten games and would have to wait until December for their first away win at Wickham. Inconsistent form saw Coventry find themselves 21st with six weeks of the season to go. A 1-0 win at Rotherham would prove decisive though as Coventry went on to win four of their final six games, finishing in a respectable 16th place. The summer of 2021 saw fans return to football stadiums. Coventry returns to the Rico Arena, further updates on the Coventry's owners' plans to build a new stadium based at the University of Warwick, and further signings and additions to the Sky Blues squad. Coventry find themselves 7th, 5 games into the 21-22 season, having won 3 games already. So Mark Robbins is doing a fantastic job at Coventry City, but can he do one better? Can he take us all the way to the Premier League and really rival Jimmy Hill's managerial days? Who'd have thought it, the Coventry fans wouldn't have when we were in League 2, that we'd be back in the Championship and really punching above our weight now and really giving it a good go despite all those off the field issues. Mark Robbins has got us playing some really attractive football and we are a real threat. Other teams, other clubs are saying it. Coventry City are going in the right direction and let me know down below, can Mark Robbins do it? Will Mark Robbins be the man to take Coventry City all the way from League 2, all the way back to the Premier League? Well, that will be the surprise ending, guys. This has been Coventry City, the rise of a football club. If you've enjoyed the video, guys, please feel free to drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel and check out another video. Thank you for your support, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.